Hey guys, and welcome to a FIFA 13 Retro Squad Builder. You're probably sitting here thinking, what the fuck is he doing on FIFA 13? But this isn't just a normal squad builder. I wanted to do what Bateson and people like that did, but in FIFA 13. I brought it like a few months, because I'm a bit bored of FIFA 14 already. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. But I thought I'd go back to FIFA 13, where I started my YouTube. Well, I started on FIFA 12, but my YouTube properly kicked off in FIFA 13. And now look where I am. Not very far ahead when where I was. But still, we have these three players on the bench. Obviously, they're all going to be a very, very nice. So in goal, we have Rene Adler, I believe it is. 89 rated man, I believe team of the season can't be team of the year because that was last year I think this is the team of the season version I only bought a couple of these and my friends given me to most of them so thank you to Roy for giving me pretty much all of these because he gave me all of them yeah he pretty much gave me all of them and thank you to the people who I bought them off in centre back it's actually Dante which I'm going to move over to the right centre back because obviously we want to get a nice strong Bundes so this team is basically a Bundesliga, Liga BBA and a League 1 hybrid squad builder so in the other centre back we have Jerome Boateng these two players Dante and Boateng absolute solid especially in the corners defending standings absolutely everything about them no one's getting near your goalkeeper and even if they do look at them stats for him no one's getting past that either on the left centre back we have PK obviously lacks in the pace but his headering is defending and his also defending stats are absolutely outstanding especially with a 91 rating that's bloody awesome on the left mid I went for a little special I believe to say man of the match card Isco, yes the guy was a centre attacking mid now on FIFA 14, I was really quite surprised to find out he actually was a left mid because I never actually bought any of these like high end expensive cards, it doesn't look as good as his card on the game on FIFA 14 but he still does look pretty good and he actually turned out to be a quite good left mid, I didn't expect him to be, especially I like my left mids and right mids pacey. In the CDM, trying to get that strong link, which I didn't even be able to get. I wasn't able to get, so I ended up getting a centre mid because I clearly hasn't converted them. So we end up having Kreuz, who actually, his long shot, 90 shots, 5 star weak for brilliant fucking free kicks, absolutely outstanding free kicks and long shots. This guy was a monster. Obviously, I don't know what his work rates are because you can't look at them on FIFA 13 on this card, which is really, really unfortunate and annoying. On the other centre mid, we have come on, <laughs> god damn it, we have Sergio Busquets. Um, obviously I need him for chemistry reasons, I'm trying to link that Spanish side up because otherwise they wouldn't have all Isco wouldn't have got full chem if I got like Ronaldo there or something because it needed to be Spanish. So we got Sergio Busquets there with a pretty high end defending stats. Obviously I have to move him into the CDM version, but I can't have enough for the CDM card because they're so so expensive conversion cards and formation cards in this game nowadays. Right mid we got another Matt team of the season player, which is Thomas Muller, absolute monster of a card. Personal things, I absolutely love this guy. Real life, in game, I think he is a game changer, especially on this game. And in real life, the amount of times I've seen, even how small he is, I actually tell you, he's six foot one. But when he's on the pitch, he doesn't look that tall to me. But he does score headers. He scores. He scores. And them stats are retarded. 90 pace, 92 shooting, 89 dribbling, 84 headering, and 89 passing. They are absolute outstanding stats, especially, especially, especially for a a left, no, a right mid. So in blooming upstairs, or well upstairs, yes, we're going upstairs now to the centre attack in mid position. We have an informed Gundogan who doesn't look as good as he is on the other game on FIFA 14 because of the fact that he isn't a high rated. I really was, I didn't, I remember this guy. I actually, I, don't, I remember this guy being a non-rare last game, and he's jumped some ratings up on FIFA 14. But he still wasn't a pretty good player. I did. I found that this game, a lot of players lacked in pace on their actual cards. Like I found him quite sluggish. Muller and Isco wasn't as fast than everyone. But up front, we have the beast. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you can't have a team without this guy, so so good, oh my, it's the first ever FIFA I've used him, and my god I want to get him on FIFA 14 now, because I was a abusement in the department of Ibrahimovic, 6 foot 5, winning absolutely everything in the air, cracking long shots, even good pace, he holds off everyone like he's an absolute, he's just like a plank of wood that holds everyone off, like you cannot get past him.
With his little teammate up front to get the League One hybrid, and got menace. Surprisingly, this guy was actually the only guy I found who had his actual pace. He was so so fast, menace was. Plus his long range shots and his shot power, sheer shot power, was absolutely insane. I know it says I played one game with him, but I have played all my friends with him, so it obviously was say more because I don't really like playing online people. I don't want to give them a heart attack by seeing this team. So this team cost me two point two million coins, or around two point two. 2.5 ish, like 2.2, 2.5. It's all the same, really, when it comes to FIFA, because they're not worth anything. But if you have enjoyed this retro squad builder, guys, and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you say it in the comment section, I want to see more, because I have a lot of money and a lot of blooming players to enter into hybrids and to maybe giveaways anyone wants them and pink slips and random shit like that for a little bit of retro because I'm a bit bored of FIFA 14 and I'm going to head over to FIFA 13 for a little bit so I'll be bringing you some more of these videos so if you can hit that subscribe button if you are new I really really will appreciate that and if you can share this video out I'll appreciate it as well so thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a very nice day